First thing I do with this question is just write the numbers out. They're a bit small in the question. Now with all sequences, we're interested in what it goes up in. So we're interested in what these go up in. So if you've got a calculator, you can just do 25 take away 13. If it's on the calculator paper, then you can just quickly do it in your head. And I'm going to do this for a few of them. Now you might notice straight away that the next one goes up in 18. Well, let's have a look at the next one. That goes up in 24. And the last one goes up in 30, which is what we'd expect. So they're not going up by the same amount. Now when they don't go up by the same amount, we need to have a look at the second difference. If they don't go up by the same amount in the first difference, that means it's not going to be an arithmetic sequence. We're not going to use the standard linear nth term, the one that you're probably used to. For a second difference, it's going to be a quadratic. Let's check to see if there's a second difference. So that's add 6, this is add 6, and this is add 6. So we know it's a quadratic sequence, so it's going to involve an n squared somewhere. Right, the step that people have difficulty with is you get the second difference and you halve it. And that's all you've got to do. Now, that halving, the dividing by 2, won't ever change. You'll always halve it and you get the number 3. This 3 is going to be the coefficient of the n squared. So I can fill that into my answer now. Now the problem is we don't know what else we need. What we need to do is write out the sequence 3n squared. So let's uh, number the terms. So we've got the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, and fifth term. And so we've got our, our sequence. which is, I'm just going to copy this out again, 13, oh, I'll write 35, it's 25, 43, 67, and 97. And we're going to write out the 3n squared, which we've just discovered. Now, that means we just square the sequence number and then times by 3. So 1 squared is 1 times 3 is 3. 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12. Uh, 3 squared is 9, times 3 is 27. 4 squared is 16, and times that by 3 is going to be 48. 5 squared is 25, times 3 is 75. Now what I want to do next is I want to subtract them. I want to subtract the sequence... Uh, I want to do the sequence, take away the 3n squared. We know that 3n squared is a part of it. We need to just take it away so we know what's left. So 13 take away 3 is 10. Uh, 25 take away 12 is going to be 13. 43 take away 27 is going to be 16. 67 take away 46 is going to be 19. And 97 take away 75 is going to be uh, 22. Okay, now we end up with a little sequence here. Okay, we've got 10, 13, 26, uh, sorry, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22. Now we find the difference in that. So that's a plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. Three. Now that's a linear sequence. Now we've got to find the nth term of it. So to do that, we find the zeroth term. So we go back one, we subtract three, and that tells me so. I'll say linear. So that's going to be a seven. So we know we're going to add seven, and we know it goes up in three. So it's going to be three n 
plus 7. So, we've got our 3n squared already, and we just need to add 3n plus 7. So the first thing you need to do is find out what the quadratic sequence is, the quadratic bit of it, the squared bit. Then you've got to find out what the linear bit of it is, and then just add them together.